And new at 11, as COVID-19 cases continue to fall in California, more businesses are reopening, including tonight, the first card room on the Central Coast. Action News 8 reporter Christopher Salas has more on how they plan to keep everyone safe. From the moment you walk in to the minute you sit down at a table, it is a very different gaming experience here on the Central Coast for a business that spent tens of thousands of dollars just to get this operation up and running. Cards down and chips piled high as card rooms across California are now allowed to follow suit with other businesses in reopening during the pandemic. In the casino industry, the Department of Justice and the Bureau of Gambling Control has come across with certain ideals and certain um, restrictions and regulations in order to open up. Bill Kratt was hired by Bankers Casino in Salinas to make sure all regulations were met. They include chips being washed after each use. Cards must be sanitized, kept out of play, or destroyed every four hours. And keeping your poker face has never been easier, as all players must wear a mask. Every casino has to, and it's no, just because we're outside, we can't get away from those regulations. The reopening came with a large price tag, but it was a gamble casino management said was worth taking. A lot of our employees are the sole providers for their households, so not being at work definitely took a hit. Hernandez said 55 of her employees are now back to work. But following the second shutdown, some of her skilled card dealers were forced to leave the area to work for casinos on reservations. They literally uprooted their entire families um, to different areas of California just because they couldn't make ends meet um, with the shutdown. As the pandemic continues to deal a bad hand, it's forcing businesses to go all in on a new normal. Reporting in Salinas, I'm Christopher Salas, KSBW Action News 8.